There's big money sitting in your closet, your mom's house, all over the place. We're going to show you an item today that sells for some insane amounts of money, so stay tuned. Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today, we're going to give you another bolo. We're going to talk about something that goes insanely high these days, lunch boxes. Let's head over there right now and show you what we're talking about. So here we are with lunch boxes. This would be the holy grail of lunch boxes. This is the 1954 Superman one in almost mint condition. Really nice example. When I was a kid, we carried a metal lunch box. Into the 80s, lunch boxes turned into plastic ones, which really devalued the collectible field of it. There are a few that are worth money, but heyday, early 80s, all the way down to, say, the 30s or 40s is when the majority of the high-dollar ones are around. You'll find these at garage sales quite often, estate sales, auctions, all over the place. These do show up. Something I always look for, and we've made a lot of money. Some of these go for some insane prices, but again, this is the holy grail for most lunch boxes. There's others, of course. If there was a TV show, a movie, a character, a sport, an event, they made a lunchbox for it. There's thousands and thousands of lunchboxes. There's collectors that just collect lunchboxes. There's books just on lunchboxes as well. They can be graded just like anything else, just like toy collectors. Star Wars one. Again, this is something you should be able to find. This is the first version with the thermos. It does have some wear and it still went for that kind of money. There's many versions of each one. Usually the first one's the one you want. This one's not as fancy as the rest of them. It doesn't have as much logoing as some other ones. So either way, a real nice one here. So I always look out for these. I always make some good money whenever I mess with these early lunch boxes. So close to $2,000 on this one. Here's the Winnie the Pooh one from 1967. This one's mint almost from a specific collection. There's some high-end collectors that had like the world's largest collection of lunch boxes. This is one of those examples. Most of them included inserts or stickers of some sorts as well. So you could customize them. This one's here as another holy grail. Most of the domed ones go for some very decent money. The Star Trek one is a nice example very popular. This was the second year the show was out. It came in 67. These literally go for 1700 or better. I've seen these over $2,000 if you find a nice one. Even the thermoses on these can sell as well on their own with nothing else included. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, another 1960s TV show. I watched all of these. They were rerunning them in the 70s and 80s when I was a child. $1,600 just over. Here's another one. This is Little House in the Prairie. Now, this is a little later on, 78. This is when the thermos is switched over to a plastic on the outside, but a glass inside. Still worth some good money. This is a mint one with the paperwork, $1,525. 20 bids on this one. Emergency, another TV show from the 70s. Again, something else that I watched. Mint one, graded, I guess you could say, on this one. $1,482, 33 bids. Jetsons, another domed one. This is a very good one here. This one, the show didn't run as long as most people think. I think it only ran for a couple years, if even that long. $1,450. There's a slim amount of collectibles from the show, mostly comics and books and things along that line. This is one of the hard goods, $1,450. Beverly Hillbillies, another high-end one, $1,314. Another one of these Joe Saucy collection pieces. Now this one's a soft vinyl one. There's a limited number of these vinyl ones that were made. This is one of the more sought after ones, $1,300. This is a Volkswagen one to advertising piece as well. These didn't hold up very well, so that's why these usually go for some good money. Many people pass them by because they're not metal and think that they may not be worth as much or that they're newer. These are legit 1960s pieces. There's many soft-sided ones also. Yellow Submarine, the 1968 original one. Now this one's been redone, so you got to be careful on these. You got to pay close attention. The thermos has to be original, the whole works. You will see them mixed and matched sometimes also. Real nice one here though, $1,152 with no thermos. Ludwig von Drake, the duck 
Donald Duck's cousin, I believe, or uncle, something along that line. He had his own little show. There was many different little skits and shorts that had him in it. This is from 1962. This is a highly collectible, fairly scarce one. $1,118 on this one. 27 bids. Lost in Space, another domed one. I watched every episode of this one when I was a child. Really loved the show. The new one's not so great, but again, this is a nice classic one here. Just over $1,000 with 53 bids on this one. Battle of the Planets. This is G-Force. This is prime primo time. It has a certificate of authenticity to show that it was new old stock. It has the paperwork with it too. That is a key plus to this one. The paperwork doesn't show up very often. Really nice one here. I watched this show as a child. So again, nice one all around. It played on Saturday mornings. This is like the primo time. This is where a lot of the Transformers and stuff originated from a lot of these earlier shows. Really good one here, though. Dr. Seuss, 1970. Anything that they could have made money on, they marketed. Books, toy lines like Evil Knievel Toys, Hot Wheels, uh, any of these. Johnny Lightning, any of that kind of stuff they marketed and made good money on it. This one has all the originals. It looks like they even have the original paper wrap that was on inside wrapping up the thermos a thousand bucks on this one as well now here's a Sid and Marty Croft they had a bunch of TV shows this is Lidsville this was in rerun when I was a child so I do remember some of these as well he had his little magic flute and the whole works almost a thousand bucks 36 bids another one of the special Joe Saucy collection pieces here has the paperwork advertising other items also Fess Parker here, he played Daniel Boone as well as Davy Crockett. So you should know a little something about this. If this was a Davy Crockett one, it would have went for some decent money. Maybe not as high as Daniel Boone. 985 bucks, 1965 with 29 bids on it. Bionic Woman, another show I watched. I watched The Bionic Man. I had the figures, the whole works. The Bionic Woman is usually harder to get for almost anything than The Bionic Man because they made less of them. So another looks to be mint with the paperwork in it. Thermos, the whole works. Really nice one here also. The Beatles. Now this is another one of those soft-sided ones. There are some reproductions as well, so you got to be careful on anything Beatles. Beatles are very popular. They make new ones, so be careful, be careful, be careful on this one. Almost $900, basically. 1966 Batman. This is the classic one. There's many Batman lunchboxes, including up into the 80s and 90s, but this is the one you want. Just like Marvel superheroes, there are some specialty ones. There are some scarcer ones, but this is the one you want. It's designed after the comic book specifically, not necessarily the TV show. This was the one that everybody wanted as a child. 600 bucks on this one. The Munster is another show that I watched. Any TV show from this era sells. Adam's Family, any of those. These are highly collectible lunchboxes, to say the least. Six bids, almost $600 on this one. Space 1999. Now, I had this lunchbox as well. Fond memories of walking to school with this one back in the early 70s. First, second, third grade era. Really nice one here. It's complete. It has the paperwork. I loved the Eagle one. I had that as a child also. $566. 33 bids on this one here. Now, this is just the thermos from the Dome to 1968 Star Trek one. Just the thermos goes for over $500. The lunchbox itself, you can get 1000 bucks on the right day of the week. Now here's It's About Time, which is a takeoff on the Planet of the Apes line. So it was a TV series. Wasn't uh, well received. I think it lasted one season. They were up against Planet of the Apes, basically. $478 on this one. Just the lunchbox, no thermos. And the last one here was another... TV series. This is V. If you don't know what V was, it was a huge phenomenon. They had toys and figures, limited production on a lot of these. The show was on. It was like a mini series that turned into, I think, a series that lasted a couple of years. I rushed home to watch this when I was a child. I did remember the series very fondly. Nowadays, it didn't hold up well, but but the actor who played Freddy Krueger plays one of the key characters into this. That's why it's considered a cult classic. But $500, still a good price on this one here. But that's what I have for you today.
Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. Thank <laughs> you.